The successor of the 6,000-ton Larry Hunt-class nuclear submarines will be the upcoming 13,500-ton S5-class submarines, and while the project is currently on the drawing board and some equipments have already been ordered, efforts are being made so that the submarines have an indigenous component of over 80%. The 83-megawatt pressurized water reactor of the Array Hunt class will be scaled up to 190 megawatt for its propulsion system, and is planned to be equipped with 16 units of the 6,000 km range MIRF-capable K-6 submarine launched ballistic missiles, that had already started development by the Advanced Naval Systems Laboratory of the DRDO in February 2017. A new material for the hull is being developed by the Midani Group, that will enable the S-5 submarines to withstand the tremendous amounts of pressure, and will have some anti-sonar properties to boost its performance. India plans to build three S-5-class submarines that will have an unlimited range, and the lead submarine is expected to start construction in 2022, after the dry docks are vacated by the two under construction S-4 and S-4 star nuclear submarines. The construction of the first S-5 submarine will take at least 8 years, and will be ready for induction by 2030. <laughs> Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has inaugurated India's first advanced hypersonic wind tunnel test facility, making India the third country after the US and Russia to have such a facility. The state-of-the-art test facility is a pressure vacuum-driven enclosed frigid facility, and has a nozzle exit diameter of 1 meter, and will simulate hypersonic flow over a wide spectrum from Mach 5 to Mach 12, and will play a major role in the realization of highly complex futuristic aerospace and defense systems, including the hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle. A Su-30 fighter jet of the Indian Air Force is currently being modified, to carry out the captive flight trials of the upcoming Rudram-3 Low Observable Precision Guided Tactical Air Launched Cruise Missile, which is currently in advanced stages of development by the DRDO. The Rudram-3 will be powered by dual rocket motors to have a range of 1,000 km, and it will weigh around 1,600 kg and will carry a payload of 500 kg, and will be used by the Indian Air Force for suppression of enemy air defense systems effectively from large standoff range. A retired colonel of Indian Army has said, that Larsen and Tubro has delivered all five contracted offshore patrol vessels ahead of schedule to the Indian Coast Guard, at a cost of 185 crore rupees for each vessel, while the public sector company Goa Shipyard is charging 334 crore rupees per vessel, and he claimed that both shipbuilders are delivering vessels of similar combat specification and configuration. Larsen and Tubro vessel requires the 30mm gun to be equipped separately, which costs only 2.5 crore rupees, and there is still a difference of 146.5 crore rupees between the vessels built by the two shipyards. Hindustan Aeronautics has initiated the process to build an upgraded civilian variant of the Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopter Mark III, and is planning to create a second production line in the private sector to build the civilian variant, and marketing teams have also given detailed presentations in Indonesia, Myanmar, Vietnam and Nigeria for exports.